Now we have our wild rogue alligator. The perfect subject for our bite test. Yeah, looks a little bit snappy to me, so I think I'll keep out of the way whilst Greg inserts his bite ometer. Okay, draws are free. You ready, Tom? Yeah. Take your hand out of here. Here we go. There we go. Nice bite. 2,209 pound bite. One ton. One ton? <laughs> Sounds a lot, doesn't it? So now Greg is going to scale that up to work out how strong the bite of a T Rex would be. Man. Okay, we're close to release. Everyone ready? Tony, you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody hang on. There it is. Ooh, that would have left a mark. Now, this is just part of a cow's leg bone. Pop it in there to do this. Very docile. There you are. Have a chomp on that, then. Oh, and another thing. I mean, a predator doesn't slowly open its jaws and slowly close its jaws when it's after a live prey, does it? You know, excuse me, my eye just chomping. No. It leaps forward and snap. So let's see where that is. Four tons T-Rex leaping out onto prey and snap. Yes, pretty impressive. Um, I think we'll try another one, shall we? And another one for luck. So, I think we can safely conclude that T-Rex could definitely deliver a killer bite. Mechanic test still doesn't prove that T Rex really did attack Triceratops. No, I still needed to find the hard evidence. 